over a century and a half, the Collins family has been haunted by a mysterious curse. To appease the evil spirit, one member of each generation has been chosen by lottery to spend a night in a mysterious locked room. All who have remained there have either died or gone insane. When Gabriel Collins drew the marked lottery slip, he hired a villager to take his place, but the villager was discovered dead, and Gabriel roams the ward insane. Today, the lottery has been held again. This time, it is Catherine Collins who has been chosen. I don't know how you can smile at a time like this. It's good to know I have you, Morgan. It's good to know I have someone to care about me. I knew it would be this way. I knew it would be you. You know, I almost think I knew it too. Catherine, I'm not going to let it happen. I am not going to let you go into that room. great house at Collinwood in the frightening world of parallel time. A time when the Collinses live under a curse that has haunted them for over a century and a half. To appease this curse, a member of the family chosen by lottery must enter a mysterious locked room and spend an entire night there. All those who have done so have either died or emerged mad. On this day, the lottery was held again and Catherine Collins drew the losing slip. Now night has fallen, and Catherine is prepared to meet her fate. Go on, Julia. Open the door. Something's wrong. What is it? Well, I'm certain this is the right key. It was the right key, Julia. But the lock has been changed. Morgan! Yes, Catherine, I'm here. Morgan, Morgan, you must come out of there at once. It's too late. I'm already in. Quentin has the only key to the new lock. And I made him promise he would give it to no one. I'm taking your place, Catherine. I wouldn't have it any other way. For over a century and a half, the family in the great house of Collinwood has been plagued by a terrifying curse. Once during each generation, a Collins is chosen by lottery to spend a night in a mysterious locked room in the abandoned West Wing, a room in which all who remain are found dead or totally mad. Last night, the lottery was held again, and Catherine Collins was chosen. But when she was taken to the room, she discovered that her husband, Morgan, had taken her place. Now it is dawn, and Morgan has been removed from the room. He has survived the night alive, and Catherine is overjoyed. But her happiness is short-lived. What's wrong? Why, you're looking at the room as though you've never seen it before. Morgan? Stop calling me Morgan. That is not my name.
the great house at Collingwood in the world of parallel time. On the terrifying night that has just passed, Catherine Collins was chosen by lottery to go into the locked room in the abandoned West Wing. But at the last moment, her place was taken by her husband, Morgan. Morgan survived the night in the room, but he was changed, possessed by some alien spirit. Now, in the caretaker's cottage on the grounds, Catherine and Julia are soon to learn his new identity. What are you doing here? I told you I never like to be followed. I go where I please and I do as I please. Julia, look at Carrie. What have you done to her? I assure you I have done nothing to her. I don't know what's happened to her. She just suddenly went into that strange state. Carrie, Carrie, can you hear me? Carrie, wake up. Carrie. I know who you are. I know who you are. You're James Forsythe. great house at Collinwood in the world of parallel time. For over a century and a half, this has been a house of dark and terrifying secrets. But during the past 48 hours, the wall of secrecy has begun to crack. Not enough is known yet about the strange curse that has haunted the family all these years. But certain facts are coming to light. Facts which may either end the curse or the family itself. Nobody would ever find you. But he was wrong, wasn't he? Yes. Yes, I have found her, Brutus. And I know you are in this room. Show yourself to me, Brutus. Let me fight you again. I knew your spirit would follow me here. Show yourself to me! So, you are here, Brutus Collins. After 160 years, you and I are face to face again. <laughs> <laughs> 